Section 4.5, De Mauve's Theorem Proof. For Leaving Cert Maths higher level only, this video was produced by the UCD Math Support Centre in conjunction with the UCD Access Centre. In our previous video, we saw De Mauve's Theorem, which said that cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of n is equal to cos n theta plus i sine n theta for all n. And now we want to prove the theorem where n is a natural number. So the proof, we're going to use induction. Remember, induction has four steps. Step one, we have to test for n equals one. So first, let's sub it into both sides of the equation and see what happens. The left-hand side, n is one, so we get cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of one, which becomes cos theta plus i sine theta. And the right-hand side, again, we sub in n equals one, we get cos 1 theta plus i sine 1 theta, which is just equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. So we have the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, so we can say, therefore, our equation is true for n equals 1. Step 2, we assume it's true for n equals k. So we assume cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of k equals cos k theta plus i sine k theta. So there we've just replaced n with k. And step three, we want to prove this is true now for n equals k plus one, assuming true for n equals k. So our left-hand side becomes cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of k plus one. And we somehow want to create a cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of k from this to use our assumption. So we can rewrite that as a product of cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of k times cos theta plus i sine theta. Using our assumption step, we can replace the left-hand term there with what we assumed, which becomes then cos k theta plus i sine k theta, still multiplied by cos theta plus i sine theta. Now if you multiply out those brackets and tidy it up, you get cos k theta plus theta plus i sine k theta plus theta, and that's also using some of your trigonometric identities. And then that tidies up further to give us cos of k plus 1 times theta plus i sine k plus 1 times theta, which is what we wanted to show. So our conclusion then, we've shown it's true for n equals k plus 1, assuming it's true for n equals k, but it's true for n equals 1, therefore it's true for n equals 2, 3, and in fact for all n is a natural number. So don't forget to state your conclusion there at the end, and mention that you used induction. 